Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I'm going to be cleaning and uh, decorating a little bit my patio and my deck and my patio. Um, just so you know I have kids playing in the backyard so it might get a little noisy while I'm talking. So I have already removed the chairs. We're kind of doing things backwards here because we were working on this fire pit patio which I was hoping to show you how we did it, but unfortunately didn't manage to record everything, so I don't get to share it, but we had built this. It was my husband, my son, and I. And then uh, we have, um, so I had kind of just brought out the furniture and put it out without actually cleaning anything. I have also already planted my plants without cleaning the pots. This, just everything is backwards this year so but anyways I does need to get a little bit of a wash done especially the deck and so I'm gonna try this um, safe cleaner or DIY safe cleaner is supposed to work uh, because I have a dog who oh, well, actually a puppy who licks everything and I'm worried about using harsh cleaners and I also don't want to kill anything growing around the deck so that needs to be cleaned um, I might attempt to clean this grill, but really we should be buying a new one. This one had its its day, but just needs to get clean. I don't know, like I always say, the birds find the weirdest places to poo. So just to kind of show you around. So I had put all my chairs out there. I want to just give them a wash. I think I'm going to have to wash some cushions. And then I just want to add a couple touches to to decor with what already is here there's not gonna be much but I'll show you what the end result looks like also forgot to mention that I want to trim some of these the Viseria it needs a little bit of trimming and a little bit of taming and I would love it if it bloomed this year so the first thing that I did is trim these um, the wisteria, like I said, I wish they would bloom. I've had them now for several years and I keep trimming them like they say, but no blooms yet. I did decide to wash the the fire the fireplace the barbecue and I just uh, made a mixture of soap and water and it did turn out to, to work really well. I did end up having to use a spirit sponge from Norwex, which is a, a sponge that takes off stuck on stuff without scratching. Then I ended up clearing the rest of the stuff off the deck so I could give it a wash. For washing the deck I had made a mixture, a new mixture and I did vinegar, uh, Dawn dish soap and some hot water. And it did seem to work but before I washed the deck I also gave my pots a good wipe down.
I have this uh, brush that I use to, to clean my grout in the house uh, just so it's easier on my back and that's what I used for the deck as well. I'm not sure what kind of a brush it is but it did end up taking off all the um, like the green stuff, the mildew buildup and all the greasy uh, things from the barbecue. And this is when the shenanigans started. My dog is absolutely nuts when it comes to water. First my hose wasn't working properly, then he was attacking my, the hose and the water and everything. He's just so nutty when it comes to water. Once the deck was done, I put everything back up so I can now focus on cleaning the patio. I would have loved to use the, the pressure washer, but the pressure washer is still not working properly. And um, yeah, I can't even wash the patio with pressure washer because of all the, the stuff that's in between the grout. I mean in between the stones. So while the uh, deck and patio were drying, I moved on to rinsing these chairs. These ones are the ones that get just like stuff stuck on, like leaves and branches stuck on in, on the sides and I was able to get them out with just, uh, just spraying them. The other ones weren't bad at all, there, there was nothing on them that they needed to be washed. I was done with that I went ahead and put everything back together uh, kind of styled it afterwards as well um, put it put on the cushions I was going to wash the cushions for my down the patio chairs not the deck chairs there but um, they actually weren't that bad there was nothing really that needed to be washed I do remove them so they don't stay out if they're calling for rain so that way um, I've been able to um, uh, keep them for several years now without them being damaged or anything.
If you guys love these type of videos and this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you considered subscribing. I do decor related videos often, tons of DIYs, so um, lots of uh, decorating inspirations here on my channel and some puppy entertainment as well. So here it is, all finished up. I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. So uh, what's left to do, I'm gonna mention and I'm going to just, yeah, future plans and things like that. So we still have to connect the switch. I'm not sure if I mentioned that last year, but you know, some things just don't get done. So then over here, I have a little sitting area and uh, I love this. I often sit here when the kids play in the backyard because uh, when it's cooler outside, this in the afternoon gets a little sunny, so it's a nice spot to sit and watch the kids or what, what, whatever you need to do. So over here is my little DIY table that I made uh, a couple weeks ago and I have my little vase. This one I've had for several years, um, so I'm going to just use it probably this year and then we'll see from there and that little lantern I don't I can't remember whether that came from Dollarama or Ikea I can't quite remember and I love the way my gardens look um, they're really filling in and it I really love the look and the, those lanterns that you see they had come from Costco they were really inexpensive and they were a new purchase this year um, this is brand new as well. We love outdoor cooking. We love fires. So we wanted to enjoy something this year. Um, this was a plan maybe to do last year in fall, but we didn't get to it. So this year it is here. And we absolutely love it. Now, I was going to go and get uh, the um, Adirondack chairs to go around it from Costco, but by the time we finished this project and actually went to get them. They were all sold out, they're sold out online. I've been checking Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji to see if anybody will be selling them, but uh, no luck so far. So then over here I have some plants. Um, I have my mojitos in training right there, which is mint. Then I have my citronella, lemongrass and Lavender, it's supposed to repel mosquitoes. And these tomato plants had come from my mom. She wasn't gonna go to Europe, but ended up actually leaving today, the day that I'm recording this video. Um, and she just called me from the airport and said they were on waiting to board the plane. So I guess their flight did not get canceled. So they're on their way to Europe and they will be there for about three months. So. I will, I inherited her tomatoes, tomato plants. That's why my, the pots don't really match, but I think it kind of looks good where I left them. Here, I did have a lavender from last year, but it didn't survive. So I need to buy a new plant to put it just right in the middle. And then my, my, uh, <laughs> my dog is distracting me. <laughs> he wants to come out <laughs> through the window so um here is my table and chairs all of that came from Lowe's as well as the cushions they didn't sell this as a set but i uh i made it a set and i think it looks really good we got this several years ago so I'm not sure if they still carry the same set i think i've seen the chairs but i haven't seen the table and we still don't have anything in the middle here because my husband and I can't agree as to what is to go up there. We kind of found a few things, but um, haven't committed to anything yet. And then as we turn over here, I have some more herbs. 
and lettuce there was spinach in here but my dog decided to dig it through that and then when I kind of put it back together I guess uh, I don't know what happened to spinach but there's lettuce then over here I have cilantro sage basil and I think this is oregano yeah oregano then these are just plants and then over here I have a hanging fern and some more herbs just a whole bunch of different different stuff more parsley and I'm not quite sure what this is this needs to come out because I don't think this is herb because some of these were here from last year I let them grow um, I kind of left that and see what came back and then my little planter with some flowers and then I have my French pots with more herbs there and I do um, use all these herbs in my cooking and whatever gets left over I trim it and freeze it and put it in my freezer and then over here I have the grilling and chilling which was a Father's Day DIY that I did last year I will link the video in the eye in the sky and I also have our welcome to our porch sign which I DIY'd last year as well I tried to <laughs>